A. Before you make that friend, before you make that friend, watch this video. Now, one of the best thing to note before you make friend is do not be a friend to somebody that is in a secret competition with you. Bam. That is the reason why you will hear that uh, the girl, her friend wanted to become the manager of the company and 24 hours to the day, her best friend poisoned her, she died. It's on the news all the time. It's because that girl is directly in competition yes. with you. And how do you know somebody that is directly in competition with you? If you buy this red cap, she will make sure she buy a cap that is redder than your red. Yes. If you buy this shoe, if she cannot find the shoe, she will terrorize you until you show her where you bought the shoe. She must own that same shoe. That is red flag that she's in competition with you. And there are some crazy girls. Oh baby, I'm going so we want to. Can I have it? Okay, take. I have this on top of. Can I have it? Okay, take. They are called the takers. They take, they never reciprocate. They don't ever give. They are always there to collect and collect and collect. You see people like that? Run. Run for your life. Because they will run you dry. When it is not time for them to be the one to rescue you, they will still come and take your last resort. Go with them. You understand? And don't forget, apart from the fact that you understand now that you don't make friends with somebody competing with you you also understand that you only make friends with people that will reciprocate you should also understand that if you are in any relationship with any human being do not always expose your plan if you have a plan to build a house lock it if you have a plan to get married lock it if you have a plan to buy a car lock it it will shock you. The devil is not omnipresent. Mm, no. It's no. not. Oh. Never. But the devil is using the human capacity, human population in this world to be omnipresent. How does he do it? He does it like MTN and Ether. MTN and Ether, all they need to do is they'll put a mask here, put another mask here. If this mask can cover one kilometer, this one will help him finish, continue for where he stopped. Another one again will come up here. This one now will continue three kilometers. So this one send message to this one. This one send message to this one. So now a lot of your friends, your family relatives, majority of them are network. They are masked, network masked for the devil. You see some people, they'll be telling you that, hey, tell me now, how was the weekend? What happened? Ah, tell me now, ah, why are you so quiet? Tell me now, they want you to talk. As soon as you talk, you think you're talking to your friend. No! You have spoken to the demons in her foundation. Exactly. And then those demons will just take that information and then transfer to the next demon. That will transfer to the next demon, the next demon that will now drop it in the table of the devil. Then the devil will now decide if whether that new house you are building, you will ever build it. Hmm. I have a woman that said the day her family and her friends knew she was building a house, the house ended at the roof. She, she, she has not roofed that house now for almost 20 years. Jesus. All she was supposed to do was shut up, let God work. And instead she's like, oh baby, now wow, me, I don't build my own house, so I'm almost done. It's just to like roof it. It's just to like what? Roof, roof it. it. You will never roof it again. Now dear your roof finish. Now dear your roof finish. So some of you just need to shut the hell up and let the God of NSPPD, the God of Pastor Jerry Eze, do his miracles. And those of you who are only seeing Pastor Jerry Eze doing exercise and my pastor Enne, my, my godmother doing exercise. <laughs> you think those people are just doing exercise? They are indirectly instructing you to have a lifestyle. Some of you don't have a lifestyle. Very true. You will compound eba, compound pandanyam, compound rice and beans, and you will be eating back to back. Your digestive system does not have break from Monday to Sunday, and you are thinking you will not have health problems that will require prayers. You think you will not. 
God wants you to go beyond that level of having small, small prayer points like, God, indigestion problem, solve it. No! God does not want all those kind of prayer points. God wants prayer points like, God, I want to sponsor the next NSPPD USA takeover. I want to pay for the whole stadium. That's the kind of prayer point God wants. God, I want to go to my village and distribute Bible to all my village. Even have satellite dishes everywhere showing them NSPPD 7 a.m. in the entire village every morning. I want to finance it. That's the kind of prayer God wants. Not prayers of things that you cost by yourself. So if you are somebody that is following Christian, following us and then you understand that we also follow Pastor Jerry is a lot. You have to know that um, there are some attacks in your life that are avoidable. Yeah. Simple basic health attacks. If you eat right, you live healthy. Simple. If you go to the gym, you work out. All those extra all those extra cholesterols and all those blockades, they will leave your heart. You will not need to come and pray for heart problems. Mm -hmm. You understand? And once in a while, fasting is also healthy. You understand? One of the best ways to fast, let me let you know, with my 20 years experience in fitness instructorship, one of the best ways to fast is night. Eat anything you like in the morning, eat anything you like in the afternoon. Then in the night, starting from 3, 4 p.m., no more food. Just do only water, 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 water. If it's too strong for you, just do water, 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 and apple. Or water, 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 and uh, pineapple. It has to be just only one single fruit. That is the secret I got from my 20 years experience of helping people to lose weight when I was in the business. So as an NSPPD, I'm dashing you that secret. If you want to lose weight and have a flat tummy, cut night food away, but do not starve. When you starve, your stomach will embezzle more food. Your stomach will store more fat than burning. Instead of you to starve, drop one or two apples in your stomach at night and then drink plenty of water. It will shock you that your stomach will just disappear suddenly and your weight level will be controlled. But you can eat as much as you want in the morning, eat as much as you want in the afternoon. It will shock you that all those food will burn. It will disappear. You will be looking for them. You won't see them. Why do you now hungry in the night? It's because the food have gone. Do you notice that night food is the most painful? Like if you are starving in the night before you sleep, sometimes you won't sleep unless you eat. Yeah. Why are you so hungry in the night? It's because your digestive system was too active in the afternoon and morning. And if you now eat that night, it will sleep and convert everything to fat. Because that's its own sleeping time. So, Pastor Jerry Eze is working out, exercising, and posting it on the social media for you to see. Because he wants you to take the lifestyle. Take the, he, there are some things he does not need to preach. He just need to show. Yeah. We they pray, oh, he they show. <laughs> yes. We they do the workout, oh, it's it supposed to be show in your body. Exactly. Awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to Church of Gangsters. And then I will advise you, 7 a.m., uh, Monday to Friday, uh, join NSPPDRs. If you need solid prayer, join them and pray. Pray against those friends that are secretly competing with you before they take your life. Let God expose them for you. And then we want to thank our special guest, um, uh, Grace, for coming on our program, uh, Church of Gangsters. You know, if you want to be a part of this, you want uh, to be our special guest, please let me know. You know, the only thing I, I, I know I'm good at is I'm good at understanding and applying the Bible and sharing my real life experience of the application of the word of God to my life to people. That's what I'm good at. But when it comes to the biblical presentation and scriptural reading and all those things, memorizing and cramming, I'm not a good crammer, but I'm a good understander. So it's easier for me to, 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 to show you how it's done in real life than she will show you how it's done in text. Yes. You understand? So where one person own store, and the other person own, eh, will continue. Okay. I can give you, I'm this kind of motivational speaker that can teach you how to survive in reality. Not those motivational speakers that will tell you that you can fly to the Bridge if you believe. And when you put that motivational speaker on top of Todd Mellon Bridge, then you will be the first person to run. <laughs> because he only has the word, but not the know-how the experience, the physical manipulation. Mm -hmm. I know the physical manipulation. 
that's what I'm sharing with you too. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mr. Nalo, Church of Kansas, it's time out. So we're ready for the next episode. God bless you. Amen.